What's up, Sal Dongs and Zilton? So how'd the interview go, Pedro? Yep, these are enemies. They're out, they're ice dragons. It went really good. Nice. Nice, good feedback, good interview, right on. Well, I'm hoping for the best for you, man. I hope that goes really good. Yep, so I got these ba this basic behavior for these ice dragons finished. Today I'm just going to work on the pixel art and make them just look a lot better. Do their animations, do the art for them. It's nice to have this behavior kind of in place first before doing the art because um, it just kind of informs the art in a way. Yes, Silton, of course you can name them. Okay, so I'm going to get the, these files open. Let's see how I already got this open. Um, Dragon Ice Attack. I got the ice balls. Let's close all these ice balls. I don't want these open anymore. Not right now. It's this one. Ice ball release. Let's get rid of all those. Gander. I remember that name. I remember that name. That was one of your names, your suggestions before. But a good one. A good one. Okay, so got to get in my little creative flow here. Creative, creative juices flowing. Come on, creative juices. Where are you at, creative juices? Let's get some juice juicing. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is make a little, I'm making animate. You know, I don't really like the way they look already. Like they don't really look that cool to me yet. So I think I'll work on the idle animation. Yeah, I'll create some kind of idle animation. So while while they're just sitting there on the edge, they look a lot cooler. And then they'll need some kind of animation where they're coming out of the depths. And that animation is going to be a little more difficult to create. So I'm going to save that for last. Um, and then they need another animation where they uh, do a melee attack, so they can they actually like reach out and hurt the player if you're really close. So we'll need that. And there'll need to be a launch animation. So when they launch their little ice balls, I'll have another animation for that. And then I need one more, one last animation for when they um, when they die. So a lot of animating to do here. And um, I think the best way to do start is just the easiest animations. And that one's going to be the idle. So I'll do that first. Besides, doing the idle first allows allows the look of these guys to get kind of dialed in. At this point, the look of them I'm not happy with. I don't really like the way the um, their little, they're like claws. Their claws look okay, but like, I don't know. They don't look really very, very good yet. Shiverns, that's a good one too. Okay, so we'll start with this animation, idle, and hopefully get these guys somewhere where I'm actually kind of happy with how they look. Right now, I'm not very, not very happy with how these look yet. So, I guess I'll call this one Dragon Ice Idle. 
so I'm not stopping on the toes of the last animation there. And starting with I guess with the their claw their claws are what that would look the cheesiest to me so far. They're supposed to kind of like look like they're gripping on the edge of the rock there. And I don't know, it just doesn't look that good. Maybe if there was less, maybe just that. Maybe this. Yeah, so I'm going to start focusing on the claw first. And might as well set up this so it's kind of an animation. So at least it can... I don't know. Here, we'll just duplicate this layer for now. And maybe just move his head a bit. Just merely just to get an animation going. <laughs> this is going to look really stupid funny at first. Okay, so they've got this idle visible animation. So I think this should be maybe... 0.4, or so, Dragon Ice Idle. Okay, at least that animation is working. And the claws do look a lot better that way, kind of. Let's see, are they, are they right? Are they might be a pixel too far to the left or whatever. Let's see what this looks like if they were pixel to the left. Oh, and also, this bit doesn't look quite look right. Okay. So hopefully that makes it look like they're more flush against the edge of the rock there. It's funny, if you spend too much time in Photoshop, you just like, you can never really, if you spend like two hours drawing your character in Photoshop and you never ever try it in a, in the game, it, the art's going to go some, in a uh, some place that you didn't really intend for it to go. And that's kind of what happened with these guys. They, I drew them all in Photoshop at first and never really tested them out, so... This is good to finally put him in. What's up, Kadao? Welcome, man. Welcome to the stream. I'm all right. Doing, making this ice dungeon. I just noticed that their reflections for these fireballs look wrong. But oh well. Get those. It's working at some point. Yeah, okay, so I do like that a lot better. Wait. Oh, that is one pixel off now. 
think. Wait, but on that side they look like they're pick they're right. This side. Oh, it's so hard to tell. Looks dope, really? I think it's got a long ways to go. This is just kind of a sketch so far. Um Okay, I think I'm gonna leave them with that one pixel gap. There was a there's a pixel gap right here against the edge of that face, but it looks okay. So let me get that other animation open. And I'm just going to play around with it just a tiny bit just to make it look better. Well, so this is the third day I've been working on these ice dragons. These ice dragons are kind of a, um, a mini boss. Um, and I think actually I'll use them with the main boss for this dungeon as well. So the main boss will have, it'll be a, it'll be a different guy. I'm thinking a big dragon head and there'll be these little ice. These, these are kind of the mini ice dragons that kind of fight along his side. Like his pets or whatever. Yeah, that is looking a lot better with a skinnier arm and a skinnier claw on top. But I think they're still a bit too bright. Frostwind from Drawn to Life. Oh, interesting. I haven't seen Drawn to Life. Cool. He's a nice dragon. Totally. Okay, now something needs to be done about how they're too bright. I'm going to start by toning down these shades, these tones here. Ah. Right on. Cool. So it's a game? Is it? It's a game and not like a comic series or a comic book or something like that? The name Drawn to Life made me think it was kind of like a... An, a comic book or some kind of art or something like that. But maybe that's part of its premise, huh? Definitely looks weird, but it might actually look good. We'll see. So confusing. You never really know until you put it in the game. And then it surprises you. Oh, okay. So you have to draw things to progress further. Oh, that's an, oh, hence the name drawn to life. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Cool, man. It sounds like a really creative game. A, a, like a, a game that's creative to play. Hello, Aaron Too Nerdy. Welcome to the stream, man. I know there's lots and lots and lots of people out there that do not use Photoshop. A Sprite, GIMP, there's a lot of great solutions out there for using art. Whatever works for you. Did you even get to draw the hero? Cool. So I'm trying to decide if that's if that tone is is right or wrong. But now I gotta do the other bit too. So the frame. So what art software do you use, Aaron? You used to use GIMP? So you're using Aceprite? Nice. I hear you on the programmer art, man. I used to be a programmer as well. I mean, I still am a programmer, but like, I used to believe that all I would ever be able to make is programmer art. And then, I don't know, I feel like I kind of started making not programmer art after a while. Okay, is that looking better? It is a little bit better. They're a little less too bright now. Still that white is, is too much. Yeah, low poly, nice. Yeah, nice, man. Good for you. Good for you. That's awesome. I love I love to meet other people that are um you know, we're, we, we are, what we are is, you know, modern day Renaissance men and women, people that can do so many different, like creative things all in and put them all together to make video games. That's what a game developer is. A game developer is that does all their own development and all their own stuff is a, is a modern day Renaissance man or woman or a polymath, whatever you, whatever word you want to use. But yeah, so good, good on you, man. Way to pro, way to imp up your skills and everything. Yeah, pixel junk tutorials. Yeah, progress never really goes that fast, huh? Yeah, well, good for you, dude. Good for you. It's you might be slow. I'm slow as well, dude. I'm slow as hell. It took me years to finally get to this point. I don't even think I'm that good of a pixel artist yet. But like. Yeah, man, it just takes time. It takes a lot, a lot of time. All of game development takes a lot of time. And to become to become a renaissance man is, is something that takes a lot of time as well. It's taken me like 20 years. I kind of had this dream when I was a kid, when I was a teenager. I was like, what, it'd be, wouldn't it be so cool if I could make all my own art, all my own music, and, pr and do all my own programming and make my own video games however the hell I wanted? And now I'm doing that. You know 20 years later so it does take time man <clears throat> so I'm gonna try and tone down this brightness of this super white color here but it needs to have some more saturation if it's gonna be toned down like that so it looks more icy this might be a little too much Yeah, it definitely feels like too much. Okay, let's try a lighter, slightly lighter tone. <clears throat> I 
All right, lost some of the highlights, but well, let's do it without losing the highlights. It's a lifelong occupation, yeah. It is, it is. It's totally a process that never ends. Never ends. You can always be better. Yeah, yeah, I'm 36. <clears throat> this is my 36th year on this earth. Hmm. It's weird because that looks worse in Photoshop, but would you, when you put this in the game, it pr it's probably going to look better. Don't ask me why. Cash it. Yeah, even the professional artists take forever? True. Right? There's really no way around it. Art takes time. Programming takes time. Music takes time. Is a graphical tablet required to get decent at art? I would say so. I would say so. I, I, but that's a matter of opinion. You know, some people will tell you no. You don't need to. You don't need a graphics tablet. But in my opinion, I think you do because it's too slow. Like for me, like when I try and when I try and use something other than a graphics tablet and a graphics pen. It's like crazy slow to try and make lines and good art, like especially the lines. Like when if I just wanted to do that, just to make a simple line like that with the mouse, that would have taken me forever. With the with the brush, with the actual graphics tablet, you know, it's way quicker. And I find that I can make smoother lines, smoother curves, more of it's more natural too. Yeah, totally, right? Definitely. There are artists out there that swear by the mouse. Like uh Miguel, um from the guy that make that's making chicken sword. He uses a mouse. He doesn't even use a graphics tablet. See they still look really, really bright. See how blared out they're looking? It's like I might I need to make them darker. Gosh. Oh. All right, let's get rid of this frame. Maybe just duplicate this frame and move this down a pixel. Something like that, so I can just focus on one frame at a time here. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know that, Aaron. I know, I know this is too bright because of the lighting. It's just that uh, I'm kind of like harumphing about this because like I've done a lot of work to make sure the lighting is really good and then but it makes it really hard to draw characters like this that are bright you know because they look too bright yeah Keenan it's not it's not their shader in particular it's just the overall brightness shader actually if let me show you what I mean if I turn off the uh, the, the awesome graphics setting it'll turn off a lot of the custom shaders and we'll be able to see the difference here. So I turn it to OK. See now they're not they don't look blared out anymore. And actually they don't even look that good when they're next to yeah see it's totally that shader. But it's an overall shader. I can't change the way it works for an individual sprite. This is the entire screen we're talking about.
<sighs> Man, just having one of those days. You like their neck snapping? Cool. I guess maybe I'll just have to deal with it being too bright for now because I'm not sure how to how to proceed other than just leaving them too bright for now. Okay. The allocator didn't have nearly as many bugs. Nice. Nice salad dongs. That's so awesome. I think that happened to you last week too. You're like, check it out. Something I wrote didn't break on the first try. I love that feeling. But I also hate that feeling. It's like, what? Why didn't it break? Something should have broken here. Mm, I'm gonna try one more. One more pass on these guys. Maybe. No, oh, I can't. I can't. Hmm. <sighs> My dilemma here is like if I don't get the if I don't get the actual brightness of this character down first and I go and I draw a bajillion frames of animation, I mean this is gonna be a ton of animations here for this character. Like uh, I'm gonna have to go redo every single one of those. I don't wanna do that right now, so I guess I have to keep working on the brightness first. So maybe I'll try just darkening the whole thing until it looks a little better. This isn't going to look very good at first, but maybe if there's just a brightness brightness effect on here. I can just feel out what is the what is the right brightness for this. That's that's 50% darker right there. Still got some nice highlights. See what that looks like, 50% darker. Tint the dragon's colors to match the color scheme of the dungeon. It already is. No, it's it's not the, I don't think it's the palette. I think it's the brightness. Yeah, Keenan. so the, the thing is, I can, I can have the image effects ignore the sprite, but that would require putting them on top of everything else. Because like I said, the, the shader that's running is on the entire screen to do the bloom effect, the bloom and the brightness and all that. So um, yes, I could put them above every, or I could make it so that they're not being affected by that overall shader. But like I said, that's gonna be, 
that that would that would put them on top of things. Like for example, their tails would appear on top of this little causeway. I guess that does look a little bit better. them darker like that yeah it looks a lot better when they're when they're not in full light what about if now if I turn this shader off again Make their eyes bright? Yeah, I could do that. Oh, see, they do look crazy bright. It's Jib's light. When Jib gets close to them, they look crazy bright. Okay, I think I'm going to leave them like that. That's about right. They got a nice highlight color. Yeah, okay. That's, that's it right there. This is 50% darker, but it looks a lot better. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up, Teague? Welcome, welcome. Okay, so I'm going to apply this brightness permanently to the sprite. Okay, so now I'm going to start animating them. So, um, so they look like they're idling. Um, oh, shoot, there's one more. Nah. Uh, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about the Z ordering issue of their tails. Their tails is another problem, but I I don't even, I'll just deal with that problem later. <clears throat> oh, maybe turn down Jib's light just in that one room. Maybe. Yeah, let's see what that would look like if Jib's light were say half the opacity. I think create, it's a function called create heroes or maybe it's set skin oh yeah it's set skin here we go jibs light setting up the light the strength is this 0 0.07 plus jib lights times 0.05 color This is going to turn down the opacity on Jib's light. There's two different strengths to the lights. There's the opacity and then there's also the actual strength of the light. So it might, it might require turning both of them down, actually. Yeah, that does look better. Immediately. Jib's light is not too bright. Okay, cool. Nice. Good suggestion, Cash It. Um, all right, so maybe I will play around with that somehow so that Jib's light could be turned down a bit in certain situations or areas or something. Like enemies that are all bright white like these guys. Okay, that'll work. 
I'm gonna leave this. Um, I'm gonna leave this as it is for now for today's development, and I'll figure out some way to make that smarter later on. All right, so I'm gonna draw these guys with this kind of darkness, maybe a little brighter actually on this this one tone right there. What? What's up, professional novice? Welcome, welcome. Okay, so I'm gonna check out what they look like with a little bit of changes like that, take it, making them look a little cleaner. And um, now I'm gonna make it so, I'm gonna animate this guy. So I want him to kind of look like he's breathing just stand, just sitting there but kind of breathing shoulders moving up and down head moving around a little bit this hair in the back of his head moving even his wings here moving a bit the game is coming along great yeah it looks better with that cleaner look too awesome Okay, so this will be frame one. Um, I, I currently had this whole um, layer mask on here, making it so the enemy is kind of like fades to nothing. But I think that needs to be in, make this a group. And so every one of these frames is inside this group. And then the group itself can have this um, gradient, transparency gradient. There we go. So I can delete it from this layer to keep things a lot more simple when creating this art. And then you can always just enable it, disable it. Keep it enabled for now. Okay, so frames. Now I'm going to start with some frames that make him look like he's breathing. Okay, so I'm thinking of him kind of like his chest like coming in and out and that would probably make his wings move a little bit and like kind of like he gets poofed up and then he like he like like deflates and like you know. So this is this frame right here, he kind of looks like he's deflated all the way or deflated as much as possible. Wait a minute, I do want to do one more thing before I do this. I'm going to work on the shading just for a second because 
This could have better shading. So I'm just going to get some black, maybe some really dark blue, and a brush. I rarely ever use the brush tool, but this is one of those moments where the brush tool makes absolute sense. Use crazy low opacity and just start to darken the bits that would be sort of in shadow Trying to give this guy some form, you know what I mean? Right now he looks kind of 2D and pixel arty. I'm trying to add a little bit of shading to make him look more 3D and um, yeah, just more 3D basically. Yeah, I think that definitely helped. There's with it out, without, there's with. This definitely looks better. Maybe it needs a little more here though. Oops. Maybe you should have a different color dye. I was thinking of green or something like that, but that's it's not going to be a very complimentary tone. 
So maybe more like purple or pink or, or red. Let's try pink. Man, these guys have been some of the hardest guys to make so far in this whole game. I've already been developing these guys for three days. <clears throat> that does look better though. And then you add on this little shading and it looks even better. Yeah, that is starting to look good. Attack of the Goth Dragon. <laughs> Maybe his eye should have a glow as well. So there's the eye glow. Yeah, it looks pretty neat, I guess. It does take away some of the contrast, though. Okay, let's see what that looks like in the game. Before too much longer is spent. Making them look this way or that way. Gotta check what they look like.
Yeah, these do look so much better like that. Oh, nice. Oh, this is filling my soul. It's soothing my soul right now. To see these guys finally look good. Yes. Oh, this is so awesome. I can animate these guys now. Make them look badass. I'm going to permanently apply this shading. Can't tell which one of these looks better. That looks pretty good. That's about that dark. And I put that in. I think it looks the same. Well, that's kind of interesting to double up the shading. It looks pretty good too. Well, I might have to leave this shading off. Yeah, they are. They're they're inspired by seahorses. If I I did a video this earlier this weekend where I, I made them look like seahorses. All right, I'm going to leave one off and apply one. Okay, so this is um, where they are at their most deflated state. Like they've exhaled completely. Now I'll start expanding their wings and expanding their shoulders and their head a little bit. Would fit well into a Metroid game. Nice. That's my ultimate goal. Is to make a Zelda-like Metroid game. <laughs> there you have it. That's what Songbringer is. Okay, so I'm saving this selection. Oops. As wing, so I can easily go back and get that selection again and mess with it. Like, for example, I want to mess with this a little bit so it starts to expand his wing a bit. Just like one pixel there.
Mm, that last bit changing that didn't look that good. Hmm. Yeah, none of that looked good. <laughs> Do over. I'm just kind of playing around here with this animation because I'm not really quite, it's not quite clicking yet. So I'm just playing around until something clicks finally. I'm not sure if this even looks that good, but I don't know. We'll see how it looks in the game. <laughs> I think it looks horrible so far. But oh well, at least the at least the general art is starting to get there. So far, just the this initial frame here that are gonna look bad, and then well, I guess that does work. You put things in the game, and it's a lot more forgiving.
Okay, well, I'm going to leave that animation as it is for now. I think it needs a lot of work to make it look a little more fluid and organic. But uh, for now, I'm just going to start on the next animation, making them come out of the sky somehow. Oh, it would kind of be interesting to see what these look like with more shading, twice the shading. What's up, Red Sands? Welcome, Mag welcome to the stream. Let's see what that looks like. Twice the shading. Uh, no, this is just the Ice Mini Boss. Yeah, but this these guys will be part of the boss fight for the for the Ice Dungeon. So these guys are just kind of like little mini bosses. You fight them in the switch room, and then um, they'll kind of be the pets of the main. Yeah, it's totally inspired by a seahorse. Nice, Jonah won. Hmm, that does make him look more three D, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm totally sold on it. With twice the shading there it almost makes them look a little more I don't know less less indie <laughs> less indie okay so coming out of the sky I need to I was thinking they would have their 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 claw would like come out of the like first of all you would see their claw and then their body would appear or something That could be a crazy hard animation to do, but it could be totally worth it. So I'm going to try and mock this up as fast as I can go um, without committing too much. Like this is going to be a crazy hard animation to get right, but so I'm like, I need to do this as fast as possible, but rough as possible. Yeah, it does make them look like plastic, right? Yeah, that's a good, that's a good word. Did look too plasticky. Too much shading. Okay, so let's start with like. This is the ending frame. <laughs> yes. So at first, all you would see, you wouldn't see any of this. So once again, I'm just doing some really, really rough artwork. 
just to see how this is even going to work, this general animation. Trying to mock this up as fast as possible to make sure that the, even the general concept is even going to work. One ice wing, please. Thank you very much. So something like this, where first you just see the claw. Then you, you start to see more and more and claw attaches and then all of a sudden you have a dragon! Okay, general concept, test time. Let's see how that low looks. Suddenly, dragon. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know why we just saw some wings there to start. Oh, that could. That, this could do. <laughs> this is the general concept. This is kind of what I wanted, right? I just want to see a claw up here and then some dragons. So yeah, this is on the right track. It needs some it needs some nice transparency gradients going on while it's while they're coming out of the, sh the shadows like that. but yeah, this could work. All right, the general concept test just worked, so I'm, I'm excited by that. Nice, all right, let's make this work. Yeah, it's an ice explosion.
This is a really descriptive uh, git comment. Lots of SKLs, Ds. Would it be okay if I give the points of click to my friend? Yeah, of course. Of course, man. Yeah. Yes, feel free. Feel free. The more wins we can have for uh, for everybody, the better. Yep, yep. Okay, so I think I'll work backwards. I see this one more time in action. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, so this animation needs one more frame before where it's just totally blank. Yeah, it's always after midnight, yeah. Yep. And I've, I've finally determined that that's probably what makes this such a popular stream in the for you guys in Europe. Because I'm the same way. You know, I like to do my relaxing at nighttime. So that's when I would, that's when I watch Twitch and like when I watch Netflix and things like that. So... I see that it's kind of a it's kind of the reason why this stream is so popular in Europe. You know? Cuz most since right now people in my time zone are working. They're mostly working. They're at their jobs. Their their day-to-day -day lives. It's not relaxed time here. But for but for you guys, it's like finally you mostly all have some free time. I love this. I love this animation. I don't know why this, this makes me smile and like it actually works. Okay, so I'm gonna work backwards and take this nice looking animation here, this frame, and work backwards towards this kind of frame, and then that frame, and that frame. You have a sleeping disorder? Oh, that's why you're here all the time? Oh man, dude. I feel for you. Sleeping disorders suck. I guess I technically have a sleeping disorder too because it takes me forever to fall asleep. Like I, when I go to bed, I'll be there sometimes two hours before I finally fall asleep. But that's that's not as bad as, you know, there's, there's way worse sleeping disorders out there. Way worse. Okay, so moving backwards from there. <laughs> Who needs sleep anyway? Right? Okay, everything except don't want to move his arm.
Oh, man. It gets better every day. That's good to hear, man. I'm glad it's getting better. Take a time out. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
<clears throat> What's up, Jonah? Just making this ice dragon. You won you won the free parking a minute ago, by the way. You're a winner. Uh, no, this is a mini boss. It's like uh, there's a bunch of these guys you fight in the switch room, and then you might fight them again with the boss. Zeeth, what's up? What's up, Zeeth? How you been, man? It's been forever. Yeah, you are. You are right. You win the free parking. So this animation's coming along. This is kind of a very time consuming animation here. But it'll be worth it. Nice man. How have you been, Zeeth? What's going on in your world? She's got a puppy? Sweet! Awesome, man. What kind of puppy? Oh, that's awesome. Border Collie? Oh, nice. That's great to hear. So oh, let me let me show you guys this so far. What I mean. This is kind of the concept of this enemy here. Is this the, there's a bunch of these drag dragons, these multiple ice dragons. They can freeze you if they hit you with their their uh, their ice ball things. This is kind of what they look like. So I'm frozen here. I'm like, ah, oh, I'm frozen. So they just kind of like you know warp around the screen and appear at different places. And yeah, just working on the animations for them right now. It's trying to make them look really good for when they come in and out, especially right now. And then I also want to do some really good animations for when, um, you know, for when they do their melee, they have a melee attack and they also have these ice balls they can launch. You're into cats, right on. Yeah, there's reflections in this dungeon. That's pretty cool to have those. Finally be able to use the reflections on the floor somewhere, <laughs> like, uh, I think I'll put them here or there. They never really worked before, except for in the water, of course. But yeah, being able to put them on the floor is is kind of a is, is really cool. You can show off the reflection engine a little bit. Reflection engine. It's not really an engine. It's a system, though. Yeah. So yeah, these these guys don't fly. Yeah, they just kind of appear at the edge. They grab on with their claw. They they come up out of the sky or whatever, or this fog or the ground or whatever that is. 
And then, yeah, and they just attack you with their long-range ice balls or their short-range melee attack. So, yep, just working on the art for them. This is probably, this is one of the most time-consuming arts ever because it's just a, it's a big enemy and there's, to make it look good for all these things, I'm going to have to do like twice the amount of frames that there even is right so far. The entity component system is the best decision I ever made for starting a game. I'm so glad I started Songbringer with an entity component system. Um, I've improved the entity component system over time and I put all my stuff on GitHub for it too. I don't know if you knew that, if you're around for that, but yeah, um, the entity component system is on GitHub. So, <laughs> sky or fog or tapioca pudding. <laughs> Zilton won eight points. Oh, that's so funny to see. <laughs> Zilton, if you're still here. Oh my god. That's so funny. And Zilton only won eight points. It's it's funny that Boogie allowed Bot Fu to even award someone only eight points. <laughs> uh Boogie constantly you're making me laugh, man. You're not even here and you're making me laugh. <laughs> Yeah, that looks better. Oh yeah, cash, right, right. You the first, yeah. Yep, it's C A S A S H. Cat. The other cash is like a like a op. You know, like a. Operating system cache, CPU cache. That's what a, that's a, it's like a store of stuff, a buffer, if you will. Yeah. Uh. So, yeah. What else is new? Um, lots. Lots and lots of stuff is new. Yep. Don't worry, don't worry. Ain't no big deal. But I know I know what it's like to try and learn and understand, like, you know. Get better at Languages. All right, one more frame for this backwards version. And then I'm probably gonna need to add like two more frames in, at least two more frames for now into here. And I might cut off his tail. I'm not sure if he needs a tail or not. Let's see. Writing and speaking, yeah. Mm-hmm. I hear you on that. I hear you for sure. I like my my second language, which isn't really a second language, it's more like a half of a another language is Spanish. You know, I know a little Spanish. But speaking and writing are two different things for certain.
Yeah, so Songbringer has about four or five dungeons quasi done now. There's still about four or five more dungeons to create. And I'll probably, and I'm doing those in about a week. Like I can get a dungeon kind of mocked up and rough, rough draft version of a dungeon done in a week. And then what I'm doing is I'm kind of getting a rough draft version of all the dungeons done first. And then I'll go back and spend like another week on every single dungeon, just making sure they're all like really, really good and adding in the things that I didn't quite have time for before. Spanish use in Mexico? Yeah. Yeah, it is quite helpful. I know. Yeah, you guys have so many languages, right? All over the place in Europe. Yeah, it's we can be so lazy as Americans, as as you, whatever you want to call us, United States uh, people, people here from the United States. We can be quite lazy about languages because pretty much everybody speaks English around here. It's not our official language, though. It's kind of weird. I don't think the United States has an official language. I think that's t the technical reality, is we don't have an official language, but most people speak English. And then, yeah, you, you go right, you go like to the next country over, they also speak English. And then you go to another country, there's just Spanish. And then, yeah, all of South America is pretty much Spanish and Portuguese, so... Right? What's what point is there to learning anything other than Spanish or English around here? Oh, that kind of is cool. I like how I like how he looks like he snaps up to the top. It has to be English, right? I wonder I don't know whether we actually do have an official language or not. Maybe we maybe we do. Maybe it is officially English. Oh, Svadongs. So you say official language is American. <laughs> yeah, it's not even really English. It shouldn't even be called English at this point, right, Jonah? All of our, we changed a lot of words. To talk totally different. American is a dialect of English. <laughs> it is. It's a, it's a dialect. It's all, it's just a dialect. Okay, I'm actually liking this. I think I'm going to leave this animation as it is for a minute and work on the other two animations, the melee launch and the uh or the the launching animation where he shoots the fire the ice ball and also the the uh the head animation there where he does that with his head. Yeah, the shooting frame looks weird cuz I haven't even started it yet. That was uh, just a mock-up I did really quick to see what it would look like, whether I wanted his head moving forward or not. So, yep, next animation I'm going to do is the shooting animation. And then I'll do, yeah, and then I'll do the, the melee. Okay, so there's this animation. Let's go to, let's open up the idle one again. Right, Germany has English, French, Danish, Polish, Italian, Czech, Dutch, and some others. Yep. It's more linguistically closer to English from the colonial era. Really? I didn't ever do that. Jonah, can you confirm this? Okay, so there's his idol. So his um he's got two different animations. One where he shoots the ice ball. I want his head to open up, so like he's like spitting out or you know breathing the ice out of his mouth. So here we go. Save as dragon ice. Shoot. Shoot. Shot. Shoot. Two T's. One T. Mm, we'll start with this animation.
Okay, so gen in general, I want his head to move back. Oh, history isn't my strong suit. Oh, Pennsylvania has German and English as the official. See? Right? I told you, we do not have an official language. That's cr that's crazy though that German and English are the official language of Pennsylvania. What's the what's the story behind that? Oh, 25 states have English as the official language. Really? Ah. Select, unselect. Uh huh. The Pennsylvania Dutch Mennonites. Huh. Never knew that. It's really teak. Whoa. Okay, so if I separate his head from his from everything here. Go like this. Save this layer here. Wait, wait, wait. And so they still speak a dialect of German today. Ah. With New England and the, yep, the Yiddish. So I'm from, I'm from Oregon. Yeah, Oregon is the, is the one just north here of California. That's where I'm from. I'm from Southern Oregon. It's a very small place, very small towns. Very... It's, a, it's small townish. It's very small townish. Ra ra, munch munch munch. Ra ra ra, munch munch. Uh huh. So we have no official language in Oregon. <laughs> That's right. We got no official language. We don't need no stinking official language. <laughs> uh. Why am I not surprised? Right? Yeah. It's interesting, right? I didn't know that.
So I think this frame will go fully open mouth. Rah! Rah! You gotta make the you gotta make the noises. It really helps. I learned that from Bob Ross. Rah! Bob Ross. He's on Netflix right now. I'm, trying, I'm soaking up some Bob Ross at nights. I'm like, yeah, Bob, teach me something. And, oh, Bob, it's so soothing to watch Bob Ross. It's, it's like one of the most soothing things in the world. Munch, munch. Rawr. Rawr. That's probably what he would sound like exactly. Rawr. You know, not scary at all. Rawr. This is not scary. I'm not scary. You can approach me. Stick your hand in my mouth. It's cool. I promise I won't bite you. You found a book in the store? Yeah, nice. Cool. Yep, he's on Netflix right now. At least the at least the United States Netflix. Yes, yes. The, nice, Jonah. Nice, Jonah. Fully. Bob, we all love you, Bob. God rest your soul. You're still helping us out. You're soothing the hell out of me. Rawr. You can never you can never make too many sound effects. I mean you could just go all day just saying raw and it would help. It would help every time. Okay, now it's time to see what this looks like. In the game. Dragon Eye Shoot. Render. Start building that. And shoot. Dragon Ice. Shoot. That's going to have a delay of like 0 0.05 maybe. It's going to have to be crazy fast. Speaking of Bob Ross, have you seen this music video? No, probably not. What's up, baby? I'm streaming. Yay, oh, they look good. Pure black. I was wondering if there was any... Oh, I guess not. I think it's the first time I've seen you in pure black. You're so goth today. Just Bob Ross, Transformer. <laughs> Hello, I'm Bob Ross, and I'd like to welcome you to the joy of painting. Oh my god, I have to enjoy this fully. I have to appreciate that for all it's worth later on tonight. Uh-huh, yeah, right, the artist. Thank you, thank you. I'm excited to check this out. What's the last thing you shared with me, Salad Dongs, that I checked out? I think it was that had to do with the. Did you share that one link with the the IBM True North chip? I checked that. That was pretty interesting. Okay, let's see what these guys look. If this attack animation even works. Catchy song, nice. Oh, that wasn't you? Oh. Well, I'm just gonna give you the credit, if that's all right with you. Oh yeah, Super Metroid Reverse Boss Order? That was awesome, too. Okay, that that's actually too slow. I thought this would be need to be really, really fast animation, but it could be, like, slower. In fact, it might even need one frame on the end. Well, let's let's try it with just that's going to be twice the delay, so the animation is twice as slow. Absor absorbs the credit. Yes. A 
Let's see that in slow mo. Rawr. Rawr. Okay, so they need to start with their mouth a little bit open. In a year or two, we get to see song. That would be sweet, wouldn't it? I hope so. O Oregon has almost up to 4% German speakers? Wow. Yeah, oh, Zeth. Yeah, there's so many different... Oh, man, the, de the debug has really come along since you last saw... From Soul Blazer? I remember Soul Blazer. Soul Blazer is sweet. Which enemy are you thinking of? So, okay, there's there's that. There's um this mode where it shows you all of the this there's and then I can toggle these like this mode into like a bunch of different modes where you can see like hit points and what AI are doing and stuff, the current area, the number of entities, the frame rate and all that. Um, but yeah, there's time manipulation. You can go faster time as well. So here's fast time. And you can go slow down time. What else is there? Oh, you can kill yourself. You can kill all the enemies. There's God mode where you can run through walls. Um, there's invincibility, of course. But yeah, all these little debug features really help make the game faster. Because there's going to be, by the time this game's done, there's going to be so many freaking enemies and bosses and mini-bosses and stuff. It's a good thing to have all these debug features. And also the the behavior trees, big thing, and also the entity component system. The fire spitting lizards? No, it's been so long since I played Soul Blazer. <laughs> you you rented it too? I think I probably rented it as well. Because I didn't have that much money to buy games as a kid. But Soul Blazers was sweet. I, I think I'm, I'm probably still inspired by this game to this day. I don't even realize how inspired I am. But yeah, Soul Blazer was... Epic. I really gotta replay this. I totally remember this box. Yeah, I definitely did not own this. I owned, I think the only, all the only Super Nintendo games I owned were like Super Mario Brothers, Link to the Past, Final Fantasy 3. Like that's it. I think I only had like three video games, but the rest were rented. Here's what, I, this was, totally reminds me of Soul Blazer right here. Yeah, anyways. Yeah, no, Zeth is definitely not new. Zeth is one of the most old school people that's been around for the whole thing, man. Zeth was here last year. Yeah, Illusion of Gaia. Oh, I didn't even know about Terra Enigma. I had, what's that one? What? What? Oh my god. I gotta play this. I think I might play this tonight. Sweet. Terra Enigma. Oh, it only came out in Japan and Europe? Oh, that would make sense why I haven't heard of it. It's long? Okay. I'm just gonna put this link here to remind myself. Terra Enigma. Cool, nice. Thanks for sharing that. 
Okay, so we got this animation where you can shoot now. Oh, but it's, yeah, it needs some work still. Like this bit here, it shouldn't have this first frame. It should just start like that. And then second frames like this, and then maybe it goes back to this frame here. So it's three total frames. Rah, 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 rah much, much. Rah, rah. Uh huh, really late. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, there was some other kind of super late. SNES game that we were talking about the other day. Like it just barely made it just barely came out on the Super NES before it was N64 time. I wonder what game that was. I don't know. Okay, so let's see if that works better with the timing now that his now that he starts with his mouth a little bit open for the first frame of the animation. And the, the fireball is being launched at exactly that same time, too, so oh, I missed it. Yeah, that looked better. Yeah, that's going to do. I think it should be a little higher, though, so... It launches currently. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I can actually change the height right here. Maybe I can. AI system. Whoops. Whoa. What? No. I, oh, I pressed con Command I instead of Command something else. Quit. Cancel. Don't. Don't what? Oh shit! What am I clicking? It's hard to. It's hard. I'm using the graphics tablet for mousey stuff. Okay, um, back to this. Go to the AI system. Go to where it launches stuff. Your behavior launch. I think is there a. Oh, those are color, lifetime, direction. Yep, I can't actually change that, but they are coming out pretty close to where his mouth is. Yes, right? It is. It is. Like, I'm like, um, you got to be careful to select stuff with the graphics tablet. Okay, so this, this works. I'm going to leave this as it is for now and move on to the next animation where he, like, snaps his head to do some kind of, like, attack. A melee attack, I mean. So Dragon Ice Idle, go save as Dragon Ice Attack, replace the other one. And I'm going to start with the last frame. So here's what the first frame would be, and then the last frame. I want his head to be almost all the way, just rotated over. Whoops, wait, I gotta save that layer. There we go, work on a new copy layer. I'm just basically separating his head from his body at first. So it's easy to, to rotate and stuff.
Okay, I want his head about like that for the last frame and his shoulders to rotate a little bit too. Oh, actually, if his shoulder's going to rotate, his his wings should rotate a little bit, too. Yeah. Okay, time to put the head on the body. Puts this like, mm, gotta get this to feel just about right. And then I'll draw in his neck a little more. Actually, yeah, kind of like it like that. <laughs> it's metal. It's total headbanger. Hey, Banger's ball here. Kind of looks weird still. Ship it. <laughs> yeah, it still looks kind of weird though with the shoulder. Hmm. If this were rotate a little more. And it needs a little more this purple color here. Yeah, totally. Guar! Your alien overlords have come. Guar!
<laughs> this is another one of those animations where we really got I got to try this out in the game pretty soon because if it's not working now, it's not going to work later. <laughs> now we know what the rest of the stream is going to be about. <laughs> you didn't before? So, okay, yeah, let me, um, uh, I'm gonna try one middle frame and then we'll see how this all looks. In the game. Good, good relationship advice. <laughs> Okay, so quick and dirty, just want to see what it looks like in the game. There. And we'll do the head snapping back as well. And it's not going to need this first frame. So we'll see that. Mewi visible, dragon ice attack, yeah, but definitely a quick delay, 0.1 seconds, probably. I'm actually really surprised that these animations came together mostly in the last two hours. I really would have thought this guy would have taken four hours, so that's great happy. I'm going to have some more time today to do some other cool stuff. I got to get close to him. Oh yeah, yes. Hurt Jib. Yeah, that works. I guess. Yeah, now, now he's got two distinct animations. He's got the animation where he shoots the fireball or the ice ball and where he hit where he hits you. But I'm not getting hurt. Oh, because it's I'm not got invincibility on. Disable the invincibility. Let's fight these guys for a minute. Let's see what happens when they die. What's up, flying zombie? Thank you, man. Appreciate you saying that. I think that just killed two dragons with one bomb. Oh, yeah, got them. Okay, so that's... They're not that hard once you get them, once you start playing them, but they can be really hard if they hit you with their ice. Like, if you get hit... Like, I almost died, actually, right there. But they can really... They can really rock you pretty hard. Why didn't the, di the dying animation looks horrible? Oh, because it's using this attack animation right here. Okay, so let's go to 0 0.1. Reverse the dragon appearing. Dragon ice. Let's see if that is a proper looking release. Double kill! Triple kill! Penta kill! Oh, yeah, you can't hit me with your eyes? No. It's hard to tell when one of them dies, though, because they just do the same animation 
They just fall away. Oh! Uh, flying Zombie, the engine I'm using is called Cocos 2DX. <laughs> Hard-boiled egg wants to go to bed. Thanks, Bob Fu. Uh, that means I'm at, almost at my time. So yeah, this is going to be about it for today's stream. Um, but it's been a pretty productive... Why can I move while I'm iced? I should not be able to move while frozen. Looks like I messed something up here recently. Let's see if I can kill these guys before I quit today's stream. I want to see what they look like when they die. Oh! Oh! They're hard. They're definitely hard to beat. Let's try bombs right off the bat. Get to, yeah, bomb them. Boom. Okay, I'm, I'm properly frozen that time. Oh, damn. It sucks when they, when you get frozen and they, they can hit you with the fireballs anyways. Down to a, oh, I need to use a cactus. Does the flame sword do more damage? It doesn't yet, but it should, yeah. Oh, they died. Why do they just seem like they die all of a sudden? Yeah, let's make them, let's, let's, I'll do that right now. I'll make them fire weak. So they have, um, I think it's a health, comp health flag. Um, flags, I think it's fire weak, and then I'll give the player the flaming ghost sword. Yeah, I know, the bloom effect is not perfect yet. It's It looks good for some things, but it does the player too much. So I need to, I do need to do some kind of refinement for the, the bloom shader. Um, okay, so go, go sword, fire sword. Yeah. It's not lighting him on fire yet. It, it should do some fire effects. That's kind of cool. You can you can um you can stop their fire their ice balls with one of your ghost sword projectiles. It's kind of handy. Whoa! Get unfrozen. I don't know if it's actually doing any more damage there. Oh, that I th I think that guy died right there, and it did look decent. You gotta stay moving with these guys. If you get hit by the fireballs or their ice balls, you're frozen and then, oh look, I can move while I'm frozen again. Don't ask me why. Oh, that was impeccable timing with that cactus. Die. Yes, oh, two down. Two down, one left to go. These guys are definitely an interesting fight for sure. There's a, there's really no other enemy like this in the game so far. So, yeah, this is pretty pretty fulfill like fulfilling, I guess, as a developer. But as a player, it's also very kind of rewarding to beat these guys because they're so unique. Okay, so yeah, that's it for today's stream. It's been a, I think I'm over my time here. Bafu is warn warning me and stuff. Um, but I'm actually really, really pleased with today's progress. I, I did not think that it would get that far. Um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of refinement to do with the animations and stuff, but just, just knowing that these are, these animations are kind of on the right track is really soothing my soul. Cause I was really worried about this guy cause he's, he's, he was really intimidating. He's so big and so many, I thought there'd be so many frames to do and stuff. So, but other, other than that. 
making progress as usual. So once again, I appreciate you guys. I uh, Thanks for watching. And um, we'll be back next time. Probably tomorrow. So, um, yep, that's it. We'll see ya.